Hey guys, Erica here. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial video that shows you the steps I follow whenever I am late or in a rush and I only have five minutes to get this sorted out. For those of you who don't know, I am Asian, which means I am on Asian time, which means I am always anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes late to where I need to be. So on that note, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm starting off with a clean face. I pretty much just did three things. I cleansed my face with the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. It's a great non-lather cleanser that shouldn't irritate your skin too much. And then I followed it up with the Origins Ginseng line. I used the Energy Boosting Moisturizer all over my face. And then I applied a little bit of the Refreshing Eye Cream underneath my eye area. I do this every single morning. My skin feels so refreshed, so good and hydrated. And my skin just feels really prepped for my makeup. So on that note, let's get started. I'm gonna click in three, two, go. So my first step is to apply full coverage foundation all over my face. I typically don't have time to spot, treat, and conceal every single blemish, so I like using a full coverage foundation because it covers every imperfection with just one application. I'm using my Beauty Blender because it's the quickest way to apply my foundation and it also blends everything along the way. And if you're wondering, I did not fast forward this reel. I literally bounced that beauty blender on my face that quickly. Uh, after you get a lot of practice, trust me, you'll be just as quick. And after my foundation is blended, I move on to my blush. I focus a blush on the outer edges of my cheekbones to kind of create that contour. I don't have time to contour with bronzer and apply blush, so I kind of cheat and just use the blush to contour the edges of my cheeks to get that definition. And I'm of course using my very favorite blush, the Benefit Rockateur. Next, I like to apply the Urban Decay Eyelid Primer. This is not really necessary, but when I'm about to apply eyeshadow so haphazardly and quickly, I like to have this really smooth base so it blends the eyeshadow a lot easier and just makes any errors less visible and smooth. So I put this on before I do my eyebrows just to give it a chance to dry. For my eyebrows, I use the NYX Eyebrow Mascara and I've got hair in my mouth and it's disgusting. Um, I go ahead and brush this on my eyebrows. This is the best two-in-one tool because it fills your eyebrows, it gives it color, and helps it stay in shape. So definitely invest in a good eyebrow mascara. I think this one is great because it costs like less than 10 bucks. So definitely a must-have in your makeup bag. Moving on to my crazy quick eyeshadow routine, I use the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I use three of the matte colors, the Nudie, Cashmere Bunny, and Sexpresso. I start off with Nudie and use that as pretty much like my base. Using a big fluffy dome brush, I like to sweep this shadow across my eyelids, focusing on the eye sockets, and I like to have it peep just above the crease line so you can see the shadow when my eyes are open. So I go ahead and just try to blend that as much as possible. I am like kind of nervous and rushed, so I'm trying to do this as best as I can. Okay, Erica, I think you, I think you got it, so. All right, moving on to the next step. I like to mix Cashmere Bunny Sexpresso because I think it creates the perfect dark brown shade. I use a flat domed shader brush to focus this color only on the outer V's of my eyelids. I'm trying to create as much definition as possible because I have very small eyelids and I want to create as much definition as possible to make my eyes look big and wide and open. So the next minute is really just refining. Um, I try to blend the outer edges as much as possible so it looks like a nice ombre gradient effect throughout the eyelid. Um, I pretty much use a combination of brushes and my fingers since I'm in a rush and I just get it to a point where I think looks good. After I finish those two shades, I move on to my highlighter. I'm using the Becca highlighter in Moonstone and I use this on the inner thirds of my eyelids to really make my eye pop and look bright and awake. So I love this one because it's really high shimmer and I just need to pat it on just a little bit and I get just a really nice opaque sheen and it's just so gorgeous. I then use a small face brush to brush this shimmer onto the tops of my cheekbones just to again give me that nice wide awake effect and highlight my cheeks. 
And then I use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is my favorite mascara because it's super curling, super lengthening, and it just gives my eyelashes the big fluffy butterfly effect that I'm looking for. So I do try to brush as much as possible on here. I have to say I'm a mascara junkie and I need several coats to really make my eyes look big and open. So I go ahead and just apply a generous layer to both eyelashes. And I'm noticing that I only have 20 seconds left on the clock, so my last and final act is applying my NYX Matte Lip Gloss in Stockholm on my lips. It's a beautiful pinky nude and just gives my entire face a finished polished look. Bam. And stop at five minutes. So, that was so nerve wracking. I seriously feel like it was an episode of Chopped or something. But anyway, this is the final product. This is my five minute makeup look. I like to focus on just a few key things, which is even skin, warm cheeks, bright, lightly defined eyes, and a neutral lip color. And once I touch on all of those things, I always feel confident and put together enough to go to work. And people have no idea that it took me less than five minutes to create this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it beneficial. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it beneficial and want more makeup tutorials in the future. Also be sure to click here to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you have any great makeup tips for a non-punctual Asian girl like me, please make sure to leave those down below in the comments area because I would love to hear them. For more beauty action, you can click right here to see my travel skincare routine or you can click right here to check out my beauty swap that I did with my YouTube friend, Vlog with Kendra. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!